Hey folks, what's up? It's Pastor Hassan. It's Friday morning and it's uh, time for our Friday morning devotional. And so Lord willing, on Sunday morning, we'll be continuing the book of 1 Corinthians and finishing up chapter 12, where Paul starts to use um, body language. He's still talking about spiritual gifts, but he switches gears a little bit. And in order to help the Corinthians understand how spiritual gifts are to function in the life of the church, he begins to talk about uh, the church as a body. That's the analogy he uses to describe how we ought to function together in, in our uh, interactions with one another as, as a community. And so um, one, one of the things that he presses home is the importance of realizing that every member of the body plays an important role and an important function. And um, I think that's, that's something that for us, it might be easy for us to understand at an individual level. So like, yeah, we understand, okay, I, I play an important role, um, but quite often we don't think about uh, the other members of the body as being uh, important to what happens in the life of the church. And if for no other reason that, that we just, we don't, we, it's easy for us to not think about other people. Uh, we're pretty good about thinking about ourselves usually, but we have to be intentional about thinking about other people, whether we're talking about caring for them or even just considering, oh yeah, like this person does this, this person does that, and that, that's really helpful. And, and so um, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 really serves as a reminder, the end of the chapter serves as a reminder to us of how important uh, other members of the body are to the proper function of, of the whole church. And so I just wanted to read um, from Romans chapter 12, uh, just a few verses, uh, where Paul deals with a similar subject matter, again, in the topic of, or in the uh, context of a discussion around uh, gifts, spiritual gifts or gifts of grace. And so I'm going to read Romans chapter 12, uh, beginning at verse 3. And here's what God's word says. It says, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body, we have many members and the members do not all have the same function. So we though many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does, does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. And, and so Paul, as I said, in dealing with gifts of the spirit, spiritual gifts, um, gifts of grace, these gifts that have been entrusted to every single believer um, sovereignly by God, um, the first thing that he says in verse three is, um, I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Um, we're to think with sober judgment. Quite often in discussions around spiritual gifts, um, like we dealt with on last week's Sunday, um, it, it, it can tend towards people uh, being full of themselves and, oh, I have this gift and let, let's build a ministry around me or we, we begin uh, to think exclusively about, okay, how can I use my gift? And, and we think of it almost in isolation with the larger body. But, but Paul says right away, no, think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. So he again is reminding us of like our, the gifts that we have at the end of the day. 
um, whether they're physical talents and abilities uh, or, or spiritual gifts, um, those aren't ours. Like they've been given to us, they've been assigned to us by by God. And so because of that, we ought to think uh, we ought to be humble and, and not full of ourselves concerning concerning the gifts. And then he says in verse four, for as in one body we have many members and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. So this verse here should serve to, to push us away from this idea that like we tend to um, highlight certain gifts or certain abilities as particularly important in the life of the church. And, and Paul is like, no, like we, we have different gifts. We have uh, different functions and um, we, we are members of, of one another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. And so that, that's the idea, that everybody's using the different gifts that they've been given, not to make much of themselves, but we, we use them in order to build up the church so that the church might proper um, function properly the way that God has, has designed it to. And so I just want to encourage you as we begin to think further about spiritual gifts and think about um, our existence together as, as a body. Um, help us. Um, I pray that you would, um, the Lord would help us to see that um, each member of the body is an important part of the whole. And um, in order for us to function properly as a church, everybody's got to be using the gifts that they've been given and uh, doing so in humility. And so, um, yeah, meditate on that, Romans 12. And then in the meantime, be looking ahead to uh, 1 Corinthians 12. We'll look at verses 12 to 31. And uh, yeah, be praying as we look into the word that we not just be hearers of the word, but that we be doers of it as well. Okay, God bless y'all. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of days, Lord willing. Okay, God bless.